what I'm going to show you now is how to use two computers without two sound cards and make one a slave for MIDI time code and run your movie or whatever you're scoring for on the other computer with just an Ethernet cable. Let's have a look. As you can see, these are my two machines. This is my Mac Pro, my main master, and uh, I've put my MacBook Pro over here, my laptop, and it's connected by an Ethernet cable, simply just by an Ethernet cable, nothing. As you can see, both the computers have Wi-Fi switched off. Now, uh, both the computers, you'll need to launch audio MIDI setup again, that which you'll find in utilities under applications. So let's launch audio MIDI setup. In audio MIDI setup, you'll need to go to window and say show MIDI window. So this will open up. Once this opens up, double click the network driver and create a session. We'll name this MacBook Pro and enable it. Next, we'll come to the main machine launch audio MIDI setup go to the MIDI window double click network create a session here let's name this Mac Pro and enable it now you can see on the laptop that uh, you are seeing Tapas Relia's Mac Pro what we need to do is click on that and say connect over here it should show you connected to participants Tapas Relia's Mac Pro latency is 0 milliseconds so we've basically set up our MIDI over Ethernet right now the next step is to launch your DAW in both the machines and set one to send time code and set the other to receive time code we'll just do that in a bit Okay, we are booted with both the DAWs on both the computers. Over here I am running Logic Pro and on the laptop I am running Soundtrack Pro, which is a part of the Logic Studio bundle if you know. Um, please note that this computer is not connected to any sound card. It's connected just via an Ethernet cable to this. Now why do we need to do this? Many times when you score for movies, the movies take up a lot of memory, they take up a lot of hard disk space and your session generally becomes slow if you're scoring for a background like if, if you loaded a full 20 minute jumbo reel so what you should do is you should set up network MIDI like this set up your slave computer in a door to receive time code and launch the video there so now in logic please um, remember that you'll have to set one to send time code and the other machine to receive time code uh, it varies from door to door but I'll show you how to do it in logic and in soundtrack pro so in logic go to project settings and synchronization in the window click on the MIDI sub tab and say and choose to transmit MIDI timecode so you'll have to enable this box and over here select your Ethernet port as the MIDI timecode test uh, uh, the, the port that you'll send out MIDI timecode from which is network Mac Pro select that close this on your slave you need to go to preferences go to synchronization and just enable input sync to MIDI clock and sync to MIDI timecode we just need timecode over here so make sure that that's enabled now when I hit play on Logic Pro you'll see that this is running in perfect sync I'm playing right now and you can see over there It's running in perfect sync. If you want to see the time code, this is the time code 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Why do you need to do this? As I said, to run your video on the other comp, you can use a video out if your comp supports that to be displayed out on the TV is what I do usually do if if not then you can at least run full screen video on your slave computer just like this this is very handy when you want to run a video of a dedicated machine without having to use 
your your very important resources of your main machine because the video can now just run seamlessly free of any constraints while you can continue working on this machine without having to worry about how much memory is being taken up by the video so when you hit play you can see the video is playing in sync I hope you find this step useful.